In yet another significant engineering feat, the Indian Space Research Organization today com completed the third and final landing test of its space plane. Now, this is a crucial step for ISRO in its journey to develop a reusable autonomous space vehicle. At 7.10 a.m. India time on Sunday, the Indian Space Agency successfully completed the third fully autonomous precision landing of its space plane. Space planes are meant to be launched into space atop a rocket. While circling the Earth, the space plane can deploy small satellites or carry out onboard experiments as well. Once the mission is complete, it can re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and can glide like a plane and land on a runway. It is a reusable space vehicle, similar to the retired American space shuttle that was used to transport cargo and astronauts. However, ISRO's space plane is an unmanned version. This plane is designated as RLVTD, which stands for Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstrator. Recently, it has been named Pushpak, a reference to the flying vehicle from the Indian epic Ramayana. Today's landing test was carried out by ISRO teams in partnership with the Indian Air Force and various other Indian government agencies. Back in April last year, ISRO commenced landing trials of the Pushpak. During each of these trials, Pushpak was carried to a height of 4.5 kilometers by an Indian Air Force Chinook helicopter. On being dropped, the plane had to autonomously glide and perform a precision landing. The first test was successful in April last year. The second test was completed just earlier this year in March. And today's test was the third and final landing test of this plane. Now, with multiple tests of Pushpak being completed, ISRO has to now get up for the real thing, flying Pushpak to space and then bringing it back safely. For more, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP sent us this report. Listen to this. So far, only the US and China are known to operate fully autonomous space planes these space planes are deployed on highly classified strategic missions in Earth orbit. India has its own space plane Pushpak, which is under development, but it is at least two to three years away from flying to space. Firstly, ISRO will have to build a much larger version of Pushpak, which is at least 1.6 times larger than the present SUV sized Pushpak space plane. Then Pushpak will have to be mounted atop a modified GSLV rocket and flown to space. Once in space, Pushpak will have to spend at least a couple of weeks autonomously performing all its experiments. Then it will have to maneuver itself for re-entry and enter the Earth's atmosphere at blazing hot temperatures that are several thousand degrees centigrade and at hypersonic speeds, five times the speed of sound. Then Pushpak will have to glide like a plane and come and land on a runway very precisely like it has demonstrated over the last one year. This is at least one or two years away and ISRO has a lot of sophisticated engineering to do before they can accomplish this and become the third nation with a fully operational space plane. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.